what's up <laughs> oh my goodness it's almost four in the morning and finally iron fist has hit netflix so i figured that i would do my standard uh standard i guess um vlog for what i thought about the first episode um then maybe i'll do like the first six and do the series overall i know i want to review the show overall at some point because this show has sparked a lot of controversy <laughs> randomly for no reason too um but but what did i think um it seems pretty solid to me uh i like finn jones as danny rent i actually really feel bad for the both the character and the actor in this show because the actor's getting a lot of shit that's unwarranted and so is danny it's kind of like art imitates life almost um but I, I like finn jones i like the actress playing colleen wing i think she's good of the little bit that we've seen so far um we get some backstory into danny but he really is it's establishing him as this fish out of water which i think is nice and that what from what i've heard is ties a lot into the character of iron fist um and yeah this is going to be spoilers because i just watched it so uh, what else? The, the the music, I think, is good. They, they opened it with Outcast, so you can never go wrong with there. Um, this, this like, villain setup character, Ward, um, he's a fucking cunt. <laughs> I don't like him at all. Uh, even when they showed them as kids and whatnot, and, and you see kind of him interacting with him, and he's like, well, I don't want to do that, and just smacks a Monopoly game off the table. It's like, what child, what awful, awful child acts like that it's just a terrible kid turning into a terrible adult like at least his sister you feel a little bit more sympathy and we, we get like little sprinkles of Kunlun which I can tell they, they did that for budgetary reasons and I'm pretty sure we talked about that a lot on Marvel League um, but yeah the music's good the acting is solid for the most part I think his is like a little the actor playing Ward goes in and out a little bit um, but I really like I think the, my favorite moment in the first episode is uh between um, Danny and I think his name is Al, the homeless guy, those little moments. So I, I think where this show is really going to shine is those those little pockets of dialogue between just like small characters. Um, the the acting's good. The effects, for the most part, seem fine. They they kind of use them sparingly, which I think they will because of how much doing Kunlun will probably cost and doing the actual Iron Fist. We saw a little bit of Danny using his martial arts, which I don't think the the way it shot does it justice. Because I think the martial arts fighting itself is cool, but I don't think it's as dynamic as like Daredevil was. Um, I And I think that hopefully they'll do more with it as the show progresses. But I think just the way it shot, it shot so casually and it's not it doesn't really get you excited and it's so brief um and it's not that it's poorly choreographed it looks good uh and it looks like it's actually finn jones doing it but i don't know but i mean and it's edited well but i don't think it's like gets you is engrossed in it. it's just like oh yeah no he just like punch dodge you know, punch dodge block block kick kick is <laughs> like dropping and, and it all happens so like fast which is Kind of, it, it functions more how like martial arts does rather than cinematic martial arts and I think that's kind of where the the separation comes from and it might make it a little bit less entertaining um, can I think of anything I, I dislike <sighs> oh the, the revealing that um, Ward's father like they established early on it's like oh his dead dad's been dead for 12 years and then halfway through the episode it's like no he's still alive so i think they could have held that for a lot longer and drawn that out a lot more but i guess we'll see as the show goes on maybe that'll tie into something they're setting up like a lot of seeds all around for how this season's gonna go but i think that one was a, a rushed a little bit just going off my first impressions but uh i don't really no I can't quite say until I watch more of the show but overall I think it's good so far I mean it's not bad I have nothing really significant to complain about after watching the first episode but I don't think it is like as dynamic as like watching that first episode of Daredevil or is like establishing 
a theme like it with Luke Cage or Jessica Jones or, or like as mysterious as Jessica Jones was I, and I think that maybe where it struggles is kind of finding its footing but I, I, I want to see where this goes because I'm really this is going to be really intrigued by Danny's character and maybe as the show goes on it will kind of find its footing as the, the fish out of water show because of the four def- Defender shows um, I feel like Iron Fist is the one that will have like the most kind of head scratching moments to it because uh, out of all of them his powers are kind of the, the, the strangest ones because like Jessica's are pretty standard like super strength and she can jump high Luke Cage is essentially bulletproof and super strength Daredevil is blind justice and fury um, he's essentially just a really skilled martial artist and heightened senses and Danny is, should be the best fighter among them and I, I think I, I want to see more of that as it goes on because we know he was training in Kunlung all these years he was gone but uh, yeah yeah, I, I will let you guys know um, I don't know if I'm going to directly binge this or not but it's, it doesn't have me as, as hype as like the other shows did and maybe it's because I can't connect yet on that level with Danny but um, we'll see where it goes and where the rest of this show takes us so that's been my vlog for the first episode and now I'm going to queue up episode 2 and you guys have a good one and I will be back later